Sweens, uh, an extra two years of you, aren't we lucky? Yeah, um, another two years on, on on top of this season. Um, listen, I'm really happy. Um, I'm kind of part of the furniture here at this football club. Um, so, yeah, it was a no-brainer, really. I've, I've never really had any, had any other thoughts in my mind other than um, to stay here um, in the foreseeable future with, with, the, with this management, with this coaching staff and, and with this football club. And, um, yeah, listen, I'm, re I'm really, really happy that the, the club has has wanted me to sign um, for, the, for the future and um, yeah it was really easy um, a decision for me and listen my family and stuff is down there so it's um, it was pretty straightforward. That of course takes you to 2026 and 10 years and I think we all know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 10 years uh, as, a, as a first team player here um, 10 years of me being a player at this football club is is really special um, I think you don't really see it that often nowadays um, it's something that's quite unique so um, listen uh, hopefully I, I get there uh, hopefully I, I keep racking up the games for the football club and listen I'll be knocking on um, the chairman's uh, door and, and Taggy's door to uh, to kind of get that testimonial up and running in the, in the, in the next year or two so um, that's something to, to plan further down the line but um, yeah um, it's going to be special it's going to be a special couple of years statue um, I'm not sure if anybody would want to see me in, in golden form in a statue um, I think if I'm in the Hall of Fame one day I think that'll be that'll be a bit better than a statue but um, a testimonial and a Hall of Fame will do me when you came on trial in 2016 did you ever expect that you'd still be here now um, not really um, I think if if anybody comes from a, a championship club on trial, a, a League Two club, um, they don't really expect to stay here that long. Um, no disrespect, they always expect themselves to, to get a move or, or bounce on again and, and go back to the championship or, or whatever. But um, I've been pretty happy here. We've, we've, we've had some successful teams, um, some really good teams um, that didn't get promoted. Um, I've met some really, really good people along the way. and. I've just met some really good people over the last um, 18 months to a year. So, um, yeah, it, it's been it's been a it's been a long, hard um, seven seasons. And luckily enough, um, I've met some really good people at this football club, and they seem to like me here. So I'm, I'm happy to stay. This club has changed so much in the time that you've been here, from the stand at the, at the stadium to the training grounds to, to a new league. I mean, you've been there through it all, really, haven't you? I've been I've been through the thick and thin of it. Um, I think some of our new players who come here and and, and they see the pitches, they see the the astro turf, they see the the new uh, new training ground building, they see us having a chef, and um, they see us in League One football. Um, when I first come here, the the astro turf wasn't there. Um, league uh, pitch one and pitch two were nowhere near as good as what they are now. Um, the the training ground building was. Oh, how do I work? It was an absolute dive. Um, I don't know how they lasted so long in it. Um, and the stadium wasn't anywhere near the level that it's at now. So it's it, it, it seems like every season the club is is taking a step forward um, on and off the pitch. Um, and I think the manager and, and, and the, the coaching staff and the, the people around him he's brought in is driving that. Um, they're driving the club forward in the right direction, and, and listen, there's still there's still an awful long way to go. Um, I think I think the club has more potential to hit, and, and we're capable of doing that. Just to end, then, what does this football club mean to you? It, well, it means a lot. Um, I think when you when you've been at a football club for so long. Um, you kind of almost become half a fan. Um, I have obviously have my own football club I support, but I think when you've when you've played for, for a football club for for 320 odd games, um, you come you come attached. Um, you come attached to the fans, the little kids who are in the stadium running around asking for photos. So, and listen, I know pretty much 95% of the people who who work behind the scenes at the stadium in the community trust and stuff. So, it means a little bit more probably to me than than some someone who. Who's been here for for two weeks or two months so 
um, I kind of have to step into that role now and kind of give people knowledge of what this football club is about and that's something the manager wants me to do and, 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 I, and I think I'm, I'm only getting better at doing that so yeah it, it means an awful lot to me um, for, for my family to, to live down here my kids are born in Exeter so it, it means something something a bit more special I look forward to two and a bit more years of interviews and me